I'm at Mangoes today. And being here at Mangoes, I'm here for a reason. This is a charity event for the Ukrainian people. And I'm here supporting this, of course. This is many times I've supported charities for the Ukrainian people. And it goes on and on and on. You know something? We have people talking about what's going on in Ukraine. And it's just, I mean, it, you just can't even believe it. But these are people who actually have been there. And they've seen it all. They see what's going on. And I mean, when you think about this in, the, in, in today's world, I mean, you know, we you went through much. World War II, you know, we went through all this, and then we went through all the wars and stuff, and you think that there wouldn't be any of this anymore. But instead, it's right in front of us. And as I say, this is another charity event that I'm at. You know, there's not much more you can do except to donate your, your finances and, and your time and, and pray. And that's what I do. I mean, there's not much I can do at this at this end of my life as where I am. But I do go to all the charity events for Ukraine. I feel so bad for what's going on to all the people. I mean, it's, it's not even realistic when you think about it, when you hear, especially when you hear firsthand. These are people who actually have been in Ukraine recently, and they tell you about the murders, the rapes. I mean, every building is being blown up with the people in it. It's, it's unheard of. It just doesn't make any sense. And you sit here, what can we do? Well... You know, there's not much that we can do except in here in America except to, to provide money and security and and, and prayers. Uh, we're here. I know we have our own problems. I know that. The economy stinks. The gas prices are up. The, 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 we're going through a recession or whatever. But yet you cannot, you cannot forget what's happening in Ukraine. Because what's happening in Ukraine will eventually hurt us all. This is something that I just learned today that 30% that of all wheat for, for the world comes from Ukraine. I did not know that. And what was just told me tonight was that if, if we lose, or I'm sorry, if Ukraine loses to Russia, Russia then controls the Black Sea and that's the end of the, the wheat for the rest of the world. You know something? Somebody made a statement just now, which is a good statement, said that we entered World War II very late. It's true. Everybody knows that. Roosevelt didn't want to get into the war. And what happened? Well, we lost a lot of people in that war because we went in late. And this is what people are saying right now. Should we do something now? Well, you know, in World War II, we didn't have to worry about nuclear weapons. Now we do. So what do you do? I don't know, you know, your guess is as good as mine, if not better. But the only thing I tell you is, please donate to any kind of charity concerning Ukrainian people. Because what I've seen pictures and what I see what's going on, it's terrible for those people. So please do that. Empty out your hearts, your wallets, whatever you can. I mean, as I say, I've been to every, every charity event that, for Ukraine that I can go to. And I do that for a reason, because I feel so bad for everybody. So please do it. And